Hi, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of the Josh Summer Show. Very excited to do this. I did radio broadcasting for years, and I've, been, I've owned my PR firm, Focus Media, uh, for 21 years. Wow. So it's good to get back on the air in this way with YouTube. So our guest this week is Mike Oates, President and CEO of Hudson Valley Economic Development Corp. We're going to talk business, a little politics, and have a little entertainment with him at his expense. Thanks for tuning in, and let's go. So it's great to have my longtime friend, Mike Oates, president of Hudson Valley Economic Development Corp. on the second episode. I'm still a little disappointed that I wasn't on the first episode, but that's okay, Josh. Well, We're excited our, to be here. We actually had Mike uh, Martucci, former well, state senator. That That's uh, that's a good uh, first guest, without a doubt. And th one of the reasons he was our first guest is because our, he's our media partner at MidHudsonNews.com. Yeah, which is very exciting. It is. So, so, Mike, in our long history, we've had a chance to work with HVDC, a very vital organization covering the seven Hudson Valley counties uh, right. for economic development. And a little bit about you. Uh, so you, uh, you, this is your second stint with HVDC? Right. So I, I, I uh, uh, was initially hired back in 2008. I ran the organization for about five years. Uh, I left to run a, an investment fund, focus on small business uh, projects throughout the Hudson Valley. Did that for a number of years. Uh, 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 the fund was called Hudson River Ventures. Uh, I left to do some consulting work and ultimately came back, uh, was asked to come back uh, to run HVDC again. So the Hudson Valley is a pretty hot place right now. Yeah, I think so. I think there's a lot of activity, uh, you know, really throughout all seven counties. Uh, some of the bigger or more exciting projects that we're looking at, uh, the redevelopment of the former Tech City campus in, in, in Kingston. And that, that site has quite the long history there. Well, and, and not really a good one. You right. know, after, I, after IBM left, you know, at, at the height of IBM, there were 10,000 jobs on the campus. It was an incredibly vibrant part of the, uh, the Ulster County and the Hudson Valley economy. And it, it went into uh, disrepair, uh, to put it mildly, yeah. uh, for, for decades. And uh, we were fortunate to work with National Resources, the owners of the iPark, uh, brand throughout the Hudson Valley, Joe Cotter, Lynn Ward. They acquired the project, uh, the campus, and they we're in the process of redeveloping it with a lot of exciting uh, companies that are uh, looking to take uh, take space. Um, it's such a prime location, and you look at all the history there, and you know certainly the opportunity for Ulster and you know a good part of the region, without a doubt. And I think you know this builds on the work that. Uh, 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 I Park is doing in Fishkill down in Yonkers. They have uh, Lionsgate Studios, which is uh, you know quickly building one of the biggest uh, sound stages on the entire East Coast. Thousands of high-paying, high-quality jobs in the entertainment uh, sector. Uh, in Fishkill, they uh, they have uh, On Semiconductor, which is taken over for uh, Global Foundries and expanding there. Thousands of high-paying jobs. So we're seeing a lot of those types of activities. And, and as you know, we're also working on the Belfield project in, in Hyde Park, which is a, uh, a half a billion dollar uh, hospitality and, and culinary campus uh, that is currently uh, under construction. And there's a lot of great developments. You know, one of the projects I'm working on is Winston Farm and Saugerties. Very important property. Yeah. And, and you know, HVDC about 12 years ago designated that as the best site for development in the Hudson Valley. Yeah. there's. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities there. It, it's packaged, you know, in between Malta and, and Fishkill. So it really lends itself to a high tech development. Uh, we think there's a lot of hospitality opportunities uh, there as well. Um, arts, entertainment, retail, housing. So uh, the Winston Farm property is a, just an incredible piece of land. And I think that, uh, you know, the developers who, who have a vision now that you're working on, which is great, can lead to some exciting stuff in the, in the coming years. One of the things that are really hot from Westchester up through the Hudson Valley is film. For example, The Whale with the Correct. Oscar Award, uh, you, know, you know, certainly it was filmed 90% uh, in Orange County, Correct. and there's you know there's studios popping up, which you know which are very exciting sound stages. In fact, the old Anthony's Pier Nine is a you know major sound stage, uh, and certainly you know what's happening down by you in Westchester. So, right. and Duchess County's hot with film, Ulster yeah. County. Uh, uh, Mayor Stuart Masterson and the work she's doing with Stockade Works, which is helping to uh, train people for the film industry, which has been incredible. Her Upriver Studios up in Socrates is has been uh, very successful, and we're seeing. Uh, the opportunity for growth and expansion there as well. So 
film is on fire, you know, in the Hudson Valley. And, and one of our board members, Jillian Fisher, was the uh, location scout for The Whale. So hmm. we, uh, we'll we're, tell we're her kind thank of taking you. a little credit for that Oscar. Yeah, for sure. And, and tourism has is, is, uh, never been hotter. Uh, and and it, it, it certainly, you know, goes to the fact that we live in a beautiful area. And one of our clients is Orange County Tourism and Film. And like the many other counties, they're very user friendly. So if they're if you know if uh, you know a studio is looking for a, you know a user friendly experience, well, we're looking for this site. They'll give them ten sites that that match that criteria, and you know without a doubt, it bring it brings overnight stays in hotels, meals in restaurants, paying local people uh, to be extras. It's a great industry, uh, not just film, but you know certainly you know uh, the benefit of that. And you know tourism, Woodbury Common, uh, who's one of our partners, thirteen million visitors per year. It's amazing. Legoland, it's just a lot happening. Tremendous amount of activity happening in uh, in Orange County specifically. And I think when you point to, to to film, the work that Focus Media is doing, along with the with Amanda, she does an incredible job. Uh, and and under the leadership of the county executive, Steve Newhouse has done a, a great job to say this is a county that wants filming, that wants um, you know in, uh, industry to come here, and he's been a great partner in a lot of um, a lot of development projects. And and uh, you know Orange County has a lot going for it right now. You know, one of the things I, I think we're seeing more than ever is collaboration with the county executives in, in the region. And what, how do you feel about that? Well, I think that's important. You know, the county uh, and, and we have a good set of county executives uh, throughout the, all seven counties. Um, you know, we work on both sides of the aisle. Uh, so, uh, you know, we work on uh, they're You know, they're the, they're the leaders of those counties in terms of driving what residents want to see happen. And having an open attitude towards business and also factoring in the local uh, um, desires, what each community wants is critical. But, uh, you know, as, as a champion for business, they set a tone. And, it, and I think it's very important. The Hudson Valley five years from now, where we're trending and where would we like to be with an economy and, you know, a lifestyle and how can that play well together? Well, I think. I think post pandemic we've we've seen an incredible surge of investment and opportunities in into the region. We need more housing. We need you know that's a critical component. The governor's obviously talked about that. Uh, we're working with a number of housing developers uh, that can you know kind of uh, fast track or get some of their projects going in in uh, in a quick manner as possible. The Hudson Valley will always be a, a beacon for for opportunity and 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 investment, and we think the next five years we're just going to continue to see a lot of activities, and activity that's spread out throughout all seven counties, which is very exciting. All right, so uh, that's kind of our formal topics of economic development, and now we want to have a little bit of fun. Are you up for that? Yes, I'm already having fun. Yeah, great. So more we're, fun. Yeah. We're, and you and I, you and I text all the time and play right. games. So we're gonna play games in front of the camera. Sure. We're we're gonna play trivia. Are, are you ready for this? I, it depends. Well, we're we're gonna have a little fun with you, but we're also gonna ask some, uh, you know, some legit questions. That works. Uh, question number one: The song "Blackbird" by the Beatles is on which one of their albums? Option A, Abbey Road. Option B, The White Album. And three or three and C. <laughs> what movie was that? A and then D and right. then five. You know, and, and then option three is with the Beatles. I, I believe it's the White Album. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? I didn't have the. Is it the White Album? Okay, we forgot the A part for answer. All right, congratulations, Mike. All right, he's one for one. <laughs> One for one. I have a great executive producer, though, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll thank you, Nicole. Next time we're going to put the answer, because I didn't know the answer to that. Question two. Besides being the head of HVDC, what is Mike Oates other, otherwise known for in the Hudson Valley? All right, so this is multiple choice, and maybe there's no wrong answer. Number uh, Letter A, Patty's husband. Okay, that right. works. Oh, well, wait to the oh, end. Oh, okay. B, Senator Schumer's Hudson Valley press agent. Oh, no. <laughs> fan of. Fan of, fan of. All right. Uh, C, the guy who skips work to photograph birds. <laughs> Never skip words, work, but carry my camera with you're, me. You're pretty amazing. D, the guy who named the Mario Cuomo Bridge. 
I got to play it safe. I'm going to go with the, Paul Adler did, uh, right. or, or E all of the all of the above. Right. Well, right. I'm not sure about all of the above. I think I'm going to have to go with uh, uh, Patty Sussman to play it safe. I love it. I love it. Okay, um, what bird lays the smallest eggs in the world? I have no idea. I um, all these pictures multiple, you take. Is this multiple choice? Uh, this one is not. If you don't know, it's uh, fine. I, I'll go with the hummingbird. Close. The bee hummingbird. Oh, well, it's the hummingbird. Is it the same thing? Okay, yeah. All right. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I have to research these these questions a little better. Um, what, which planet is closest to the Earth? Closest to the Earth would be uh, uh, Mercury. <laughs> Did someone show him these answers already? Um, and what's the name of the region in Orange County that has the most fertile sto- uh, soil? Oh, it's the... Beautiful black dirt. Yeah. Well, so you did very... Was that four for four? Wow. Mike, wow. You, you did better than Martucci. <laughs> well, <laughs> well it helped when you gave me the questions in advance. Oh, I think we did not uh, do okay, that. Okay, just teasing. So, Mike, your photography is sensational. In fact, I've... Wow. I've I, you've been right by me like a mile away taking photographs. Oh, it's just right by... And, you know, right. certainly... We have great uh, ecosystem here with amazing photography yeah. that happens. Yeah, no, without a doubt. It, there's, you know, I, I kind of picked up the, the hobby during the pandemic as a way to, you know, kind of get out and hike and do different things. And, and there's tremendously talented photographers throughout the region. I, I'm just a point and click kind of guy uh, and I get lucky sometimes. But um, there's enormous place, enormously beautiful places throughout the region you know, to, uh, you know, to see birds or to see other wildlife. And, and uh, you know, um, it's fun. It's just yeah. something to do. Well, I, I have a few pictures I'm going to put up on the big screen. <laughs> I, so tell us about the, this hummingbird photo. Oh, that's uh, that's just a hummingbird in my backyard, you know, yeah. just, uh, you know, at, at the feeder. And, you know, uh, my daughter once said to me, after the hummingbirds leave for the season last year, I, you know, I was saying to my wife how, ah, you know, kind of disappointed they've they've left. And my my seventeen year old daughter in, in the kitchen screams out, "Well, why don't you just look at the forty thousand photos you took at them?" <laughs> so I keep still get no respect at home. Yeah, it's a beautiful photo. A lot of these are. A uh, second photo, I see a bald eagle. Tell us about that one. Well, that's I. There's a really uh, tremendous uh, park down in uh, Long Dock in, in Beacon. Uh, it's a scenic Hudson Park, and there is um, there's a couple of eagles that are that are uh, that have been there for years. Uh, and this one specifically just kind of sits out on this tree and overlooks the Hudson River, you know, very majestically, um, like that he's the king of uh, the Hudson River. And it's and they're amazing birds, and they've made such a huge comeback in the Hudson mm-hmm. Valley. You know, you can see eagles, you know, all over the place, which uh, sure. which has been pretty remarkable. So uh, I had a boat on Swinging Bridge Marina right. in Sullivan County for many years. And the owners of that marina were able to, you know, put a fish in the water, and they would see an eagle, and it would come and get like right oh, in front of us. Yeah, it's remarkable. And you could hear the wings cutting the air. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's um, they're so graceful when they come down and and uh, and and pick up these fish. You know, it's uh, it, it's remarkable. All right, one more picture for the screen. Tell us about this one of these swans. I mean, it's. I mean, I I know you could have inspired them to do that, so you were at the right, t- well, right place was, at the uh, right time. You know, it just kind of worked. It was right around Valentine's Day, and they were you know in a park down in in Rockland County, and and uh, you know got lucky with the uh, the heart shaped uh, you know swan photo, but uh, all good stuff. It's great. We 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 always enjoy seeing your pictures, and <laughs> one of your many talents. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we, like I said, we'd like to, you know, talk about some issues, talk a yep. little politics, and of course, have a little fun. So, thanks going four for four on trivia. Oh no. Yeah, we so, have to. We have to. There's uh, a lot of pressure. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm going to have to uh, relax for the rest of the day. It was, uh, you know, very stressful. Well, Mike, have we talked about your hobby with uh, motorcycles? The, se- the 17 motorcycles that you know. Hey, I'm only up to so three. Yeah. Only up to three. It's become it's becoming an issue. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to get you out taking some photos. Uh, I just got a GoPro, and I did Hawk's Nest yesterday. Oh, fantastic. It was a good shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it online. There. Mike Goetz, a great friend uh, and president of Hudson Valley Economic Development Corp. Thanks thanks for joining us. No, thanks for having part. me, Josh. This is great. Thanks, Mike. want to once again thank our guest this week, Mike Oates from Hudson Valley Economic Development Corp. Really important person for our region, creating jobs, making sure we all work together. And he also happens to be a great photographer. Want to thank our partner, MidHudsonNews.com. They're 
the place to go for news in the region. They do a really great job. Mike Bartucci, the publisher, and Hank Gross, the editor. You can find us online at joshsummers.com for an archive of our shows. You also can find us on YouTube and Facebook at The Josh Summers Show. So please join us on a regular basis. You're gonna, we're going to talk about important issues, have a lot of fun, and also really put some of our guests on the spot. We'll see you real soon. Thanks so much. Okay.